The next of the simple gas laws that we'll look at is Avogadro's law, which states that moles are directly proportional to volume. So in other words, the amount of gas you have in a sample is directly proportional to the volume of that sample. So the equation is V1 over N1 equals V2 over N2. So let's read the problem. A male athlete in a kinesiology research study has a lung volume of 6.15 liters during a deep inhalation. At this volume, his lungs contain 0.254 moles of air. During exhalation, his lung volume decreases to 2.55 liters. How many moles of gas did the athlete exhale, assuming constant temperature and pressure? So let's assume, so let's go ahead and write everything down. So we've got 6.15 liters and 0.254 moles. Okay, so that is our V1 and our N1. And then next we have um, V2 is equal to 2.55 liters. So we need to find N2. Okay. But um, we were told basically how many, we were asked how many moles of gas did the athlete exhale, not how many moles of gas do his lungs now contain. Okay, so the N2 isn't going to give us the direct answer. What is N2? It's the number of moles of gas left in his lungs. Okay, so if we plug everything in, we get N2 equals V2 over V1 times N1. So that gives us 2.55 liters divided by 6.15 liters times 0.254 moles. So the amount of gas left in his lungs would be N2, which is 0.105 moles. So to calculate the amount that he exhaled, we need to um, find the difference. So we have the moles initial minus moles final, and that gives us the change in moles, okay? So the change in moles would be the amount that he exhaled and that would be 0 0.149 moles. Okay, so now we'll do a four practice problem. Okay, a chemical reaction occurring in a cylinder equipped with a movable piston produces 0 0.621 moles of a gaseous product. If the cylinder contained 0 0.120 moles of gas before the reaction and had an initial volume of 2.18 liters, what is the volume after the reaction, assuming constant pressure and temperature, and that the initial amount of gas completely reacts? So let's write Avogadro's law down again. V1 over N1 equals V2 over N2. So that means V2 is equal to V1 N1. I'm sorry, V2 is V1 N2 over N1. So that's equal to 2.18 liters times 0 0.621 moles divided by 0 0.120 moles and that gives me 11.3 liters okay so our v2 after the reaction is 11.3 liters